Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I want to show you how you can use the new conditional formatting feature in Analysis Workspace, available as of January 21st, 2016. Um, conditional formatting is a feature that you may have used in Excel. Uh, the general idea is that you shade uh, cells in a data table different colors based on the values in those cells. So you might have really high values that are very green and low values uh, you know, underperforming uh, uh, values that are very red and maybe values in the middle are yellow uh, or some, some scheme like that. And the goal of conditional formatting is to make it very easy to visually spot values that are above or below uh, average or, or that are over or underperforming so that you can do something uh, with, those, with, that, with that knowledge. Uh, so very visual, really takes a data table and turns it into a, a powerful data visualization. So let me show you how you can do that in Analysis Workspace. I'm going to start by building a very simple table. I'm going to add product name as my dimension, and I'm going to add these three metrics as my metrics. And now I'm looking at visits, revenue, and orders for my top products, for, the, for all the products in my, in my product catalog. Uh, and uh, so to turn on conditional formatting, it's not uh, turned on when you initially drag a metric over to a data table, and that's because it's not always appropriate to use conditional formatting. That's, that's up to you. So uh, very easy to turn it on, though. I'm going to pick uh, one of my metrics. I'll start here at the beginning on the left, and I'm going to go to the gear icon. And you'll see that there is now a conditional formatting radio button. And as soon as I click that button, I, uh, my cells, you can, I'll actually click out of this for a minute, and you can see that my high values are green, the values that are close to the average here are, um, are orange or yellow, and then the, the values that are below that average, they get a little bit redder and redder um, as you go down that list. Um, you do have the ability here to go with auto-generated, which uses the upper, the highest value, the lowest value, and then just the mean, the exact uh, average between those two, or if you want to use uh, other values, like you want to skew things here, it looks like we've got you know really only one value and it happens to be none that's above average. If I want to um, skew that so the midpoint is um, much lower, I can do that, and you'll see that immediately the table adjusts, and uh, and my cells are now uh, you know giving an indication that these are you know, uh, these are, are average uh, values or they're, they're close. Maybe I'm using a median here or something. So you have the ability to use the custom values or you can use the auto-generated values and you have little tooltips here that explain how those work. I'm going to switch back to auto-generated for a minute and I'm going to turn that on for these other columns as well. And I'll stick with auto-generated there as well just for the sake of simplicity here. Uh, and so um, I have now applied this uh, conditional formatting to my data table, and uh, I may not have chosen the very best data set to, uh, to demonstrate this on, but you actually can see there is a, a little bit of an insight here. You can see that this Kelowna Snow product is producing quite a bit uh, more revenue than um, other products that have similar visitation. They have similar number, a similar number of visits. Uh, you can see that it's showing here solidly as orange, um, while, while you've got other products above it that have a, uh, a red uh, value here. So you're able to, to, to very visually pick that stuff out here with, these, uh, with this conditional formatting. Um, and again, I could adjust those uh, values, adjust that midpoint if I wanted it to be something higher or lower for any reason. I could adjust the upper limit or the lower limit as well um, if I uh, if I want to, or I can stick with the auto-generated. So hopefully conditional formatting will bring out many more insights from your data tables in Analysis Workspace um, as, you, as we go forward. Again, this uh, feature is available as of January 21st, 2016 in Analysis Workspace in Adobe Analytics.